welcome to Open. Our last guest is a musician working to fuse together country, pop, and R&B. Originally from Nashville, Tennessee, she recently graduated from Spelman College and since moving to New York, has released her first EP, Freshman, as well as several country singles, including Think About Me and Seeing Double. <laughs> It just rhymes, Niente. It just rhymes. Please welcome singer and songwriter Nia Curry. That was perfect. <laughs> you said that perfectly. I love the rhyme scheme. You know, it just it just happened. I know. I didn't even notice. That was so good. Was so good. That's what happens when I'm sitting alongside a songwriter, right? It's like the poet comes out. It came out. Yeah. And I saw it. Yeah. I loved it. I felt yeah. it. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. You look lovely. Thank, Thank you for being you. here with us. Thank you for having me. This is great. I, it's wonderful, especially <laughs> with this new breakout that Beyonce has oh, done. I'm loving it. I am loving it. I'm so excited for March 23rd. It's on my calendar. Yeah, I'm but you know it. what? I'm more excited about you <laughs> because that's going to open up a whole nother thing for you. I know it exists already, but on a different level. On a different level, for sure. It's very exciting, very nerve-wracking. Um, I think that we will be seeing a genre of music that we haven't ever seen. And it's nice. You know, there's so many different variations of country and pop and R&B. So I'm excited to see where this goes. Yeah, me too. You know, and then there's this also holding on to your roots, right? So you're originally from Nashville, Tennessee. Yeehaw. But you're here. You know what? Yeehaw. <laughs> Till I die. <laughs> That's like foreign language for us here in the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> I love it though. Oh no, I, I do it all the time. It's a, it's a joke among me and my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take the girl out of Nashville, but you can't take the Nashville out of the girl. Yeah, yeah, we have a saying like that. <laughs> similar, similar. Love that. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not going to get into that because it's not about the Nashville. <laughs> You know, in New York, we're rough. We're rough. It's like, yeah. well, you could take the girl out of the street, but you can't take the, the street, street out, out of the girl. girl. That's right. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of similar. Not a little, but, a little. A little. If you look at it, a little different. It is. But, but you know, how has it been for you being here all these years now, right? Oh, but yeah. still carrying that flavor and now fusing it together. Like, talk, talk to me a little bit about, about that journey and in yourself, in rediscovering mm -hmm. yourself and holding on to yourself. Well, that's that is a great question. I um, moved to New York in May of 2023, six days after I graduated, and I knew I was gonna be in New York because I had originally taken jobs in luxury fashion, and at the time I was gonna be working in luxury fashion. Great, great time there. But I knew I wanted to be in New York. I wanted to experience so many different things, and I wanted to grow as a person. But you know, since being here, and I love it, I realized, you know, I'm a Nashvillian, I'm a Nashville girl. I'm just in New York and I love New York, but I don't wanna lose that part of myself. So when I started doing music, I officially started doing it in July of 2023. So only, only almost a year now, but I didn't wanna lose that part of me. So I ended up scrapping an entire EP that I was writing and I went back to Nashville, worked with some songwriters that I had been working with before, you know, just touching base with them and I decided to come out with my new music and it feels more authentic to myself. I feel like you can change your location, but you should always know who you are at the end of the day. And it was really important for me to not lose that because I just wouldn't be authentic to Nia if I if I threw that away. Right, absolutely. And that's what art is all about. Yeah. Is being authentic it's who to you yourself. are. Yeah. It's so personal and it's so vulnerable. And if you get up on a stage and you sing something that's not authentic to yourself, I mean, is it art? Whose art are you portraying? It's certainly not your own. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. And, and you know, it's important for us to have these conversations because, you know, with this whole AI situation mm. going on, you know, the one thing I can say that is never going to be replaceable is that authenticity. Of course, when it comes to art, that's soul. That's, yeah. that's soul. Yeah, so, and, and so that's for any of you guys out there, you know, working with the AI system, it's like, don't lose yourself in the process. It's the same thing as relocating, right? Like you're from Nashville, you're here in New York, and mm -hmm. you're like, yeah, I can maybe fuse, you know, the flavor of the two based on my experiences here. However, I truly represent Nashville. Okay. And so it is my 
responsibility, right? In in representing in a way that's authentic to you, yeah. where you are, where you're at, where we are, as where a matter of fact. Exactly. There, there's a shift happening in, in that fusion. There so is, and yeah. it's so exciting. I think, especially when it comes to country, there is a demographic of people who, we, we listen to country, we grew up that way, but we don't see ourselves rep represented. Right. But also I think that when you are um, a person of color, specifically a black woman in the arts, a lot of people try to put you in boxes right. and say, this is what your trajectory is, this is what we expect from you. And I saw that happening in my career and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I yeehaw, I honky talk. That's right. like that's that's what that's probably, what I used to do. Exactly. But I also went to college in Atlanta. I went to right. Spelman. I was Miss Spelman, and that's a unique experience right. because it's a HBCU, historically black college university. And the whole thing about Spelman is that we all have our own individual relationship to blackness, to femininity, and to black femininity because it's a woman's college. And so we are taught day one that our experience is not a monolithic one and that there are so many ways to express ourselves. And so I would be disingenuous to how I grew up, but also what school I came from if I tried to be something that people expected instead of just being Mia. And I think that I don't lose anything either way i am black and i'm proud i'm country and i'm proud you know and i'm city and i'm proud and that shows up in my music you know yeah no well said well said Thank you. yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah and and because you know it's about standing in your power exactly and and, and so just out of curiosity why new york <laughs> New York City, okay, there were like so many various reasons. Um, first of all, I fell in love with the city. I think the ability to create yourself in a, basically a society where no one cares in New York. I mean, I had a breakdown on the train. <laughs> no one cared. Matter of fact, a woman threw a bagel at me. She I was mean, like, I'm not girl, over you. No, 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 it's fine. Right. No, I, I oh like that a woman threw a bagel at She did. You? She was like, girl, you're in New York. And I said, you're right. I am in New York, and I'm making it. Oh, she made, She gave you a wake-up oh, call. Oh, for sure. And I mean, it, it was a wake-up call. Like a tough love wake-up call? Yeah, it was very she New threw York. a bagel at you? A bagel. Come on. Sesame seeds everywhere. So, oh you know, I mean, hey, <laughs> it's okay. I, I, I had my wake-up call. But um, I fell in love with the fact that this is the first time in my life that I'm ever able to figure out who I am outside of the lens of so many people telling me who I am. I think even with going with an HBCU, there can be people telling you how you should present in these spaces, despite, you know, we're extremely diverse, but I wanted to figure out who I was as Mia Curry. And I never really got the chance to figure that out. I've been in college and high school and middle school and I was with my parents and love my parents are the best. If you're watching this, I love you, you're great. Um, but I wanted to figure out who I was on my own. Um, second of all, there's so many opportunities in New York. Like, you can wind up at a bar, and the next day, you're with a producer. And you're like, oh, my gosh. Like, right now, I'm recording at a place that some of the greats that I listen to, um, they recorded at. And I just randomly met them through a friend. So there are so many opportunities. And the food, just being honest. The right. food's great. Yeah, <laughs> I that too, love that it. Too. It's so, so great. Who, you know, it, it's true, though. It's true. Like, everything in New York is about networking. For sure. And who you know. I mean, obviously, you have to have the talent, but it's about the way you navigate oh, for sure. through yeah. the, your development, mm -hmm. right? And the opportunities are here. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, if you can make it here, you really can make it anywhere because yeah. everyone's passionate, everyone's talented, everyone's driven. So what makes you stand apart? And I think had I been in any other environment, I think I would have been complacent, honestly. So who are some of your influences? My influences, okay, obviously Queen Bee herself. Oh, of course. Oh, I She's love She's making her. such a statement Oh, right she now. is. Yeah. I mean, she... The I mean, she always has, oh, but she, yeah, this, no, she's is like, this time, it's like, it's this different. Is, these are my origins. And I love that because yeah. the fact that in 2024, we are seeing the first black woman to chart, like, top the Billboard charts for country, that's insane. That, like, kudos to her, but Beyonce and her work ethic to me is just so inspiring, and I just love her. I used to have a Walkman, and I used to listen to Listen by Beyonce on repeat, and my parents got sick of it real quick, but I was like, oh, no, I'm gonna be a singer. Like, I, this is what I want to do. So... Beyonce, grew up on Destiny's Child. I love the lyricism of SZA right now. I love me some SZA. SOS was that album. And yes, then, it was. Oh, no, that was great. <laughs> that yes. was a great album. It was on repeat in my house. And then when it comes to country influences, you know, I love Miranda Lambert. I love Carrie Underwood. I love the women in country. They paved the way, and they did it so flawlessly, so I have so much respect for them. I have respect for Tanner Adele. She's one of the few black female country singers. She's killing it. She's only a little bit older than I am. And so that's all inspiring to see, but I'm just inspired by a lot of music. And then, you know, the rappers love Jay-Z. I could, 
That's my guy. That's my guy. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It's good that you mentioned some of these things because some of them are unfamiliar to us. Because it isn't a genre that's uh, oh, sure. that we listen to regularly. Yeah. But you're gonna change that. Hopefully. Well, really you're bringing so. it here. Yeah. Into bringing it to set. New York. Yeah. That's right. And we're so happy to have you. Thank and you host for having you. me. This was of great. Of course. Yeah. You guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And don't <laughs> go anywhere because when we return, we're gonna give you a taste of what we were talking about. Nia Curry performs after the break. Hey everyone, welcome back to Open Here Now to Perform. Thinking about me, let's give it up for Nia Curry. The Lord better have mercy on your soul. Yeah. Cause you can't outrun your feelings, but you can't outrun your thoughts. Yeah. Your girl is pretty, I'll admit she doesn't, doesn't have a flaw. But when you're lonely, I'll bet money she's not what you want. But you're one of nights in the summertime. Little while eyes in Atlanta drives. Whiskey on ice, do you fantasize? How good I look on you when I you think about what we did on the beach and how good it felt to be holding me. I know what you see in your fantasies. As for your girl, know that she's sweet. Yeah, as sweet as you can be. When you with her, think about what we were, how it should be. You're thinking about me. Yeah, all that we can be. When it's late at night, she's holding on tight. But in your mind, you're thinking about me. Thinking about how bad you want me And why your girl is so darling You never find nothing just like me Baby, you'll never shake me Yeah, as sweet as you can be When you and her think about what we were And how it should be You're thinking about me The Lord better have mercy on your soul Cause you're trying to be a good man But you want what you want You've been checking all my pages Been hitting up my phone Been asking what I'm doing when you're at home alone, I am the ex that you can't forget. The one that you know you ain't over yet. No shade and no tea, she just ain't me. Tell her to go find another fish. Think about all that you want from me. And all of the things that you want from me. Go try and deny what we know and say. She's sweet, yeah. Sweet as you can be. Sweet as you can be. I know you're thinking about me. And all that we can be. When it's late at night, she's holding up tight. But in your mind, you're thinking about me. Thinking about how bad you want me. 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 You're thinking about me. guys, Nia will be performing her first ever solo show Thursday, March 28th at 6.30 p.m. at the Delancey, located at 168 Delancey Street in Manhattan. For tickets, you can visit Delancey.com. And for more on Nia, check her out on Instagram at niaa.curry. Yeehaw! <laughs> That's our show today, <laughs> Vigente. Thanks to all our guests for coming through and to you, our viewers, for tuning in. If you missed any part of the show, you can check out this episode throughout the weekend and 24 hours a day at BronxNet.tv. I'm Rina Valentin, and from all of us here at Open, may the universe provide paz, prosperity, y amor, and bueno, happy Women's History Month. You already know. <laughs>